Just uh, just making sure we're connected. All right, it looks 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 like we're online. Looks like we're online. So, uh, yeah. How how clever is my stream title, by the way? Library format. Get it? It's it's like a it's like a pun. I'm basically saying that library is the best deck in goat format. That that that's kind of the joke. Uh, but yeah. So so basically, uh, I'm not gonna talk about the deck too much because I've I've played this deck on stream like a thousand times before. So there's not like too much to talk about here. Um. Well, I was going to say, like, the new thing that I'm going to do now, I think, is on, you know, I, I stream every Friday, and then usually I, like, upload a video around Tuesday or Wednesday. So I think how I'm going to do this is uh, in, like, the, the Wednesday video, I'll, I'll talk about, like, the the deck that I'm going to play. Like, obviously, my last video was, like, how to beat Library FTK. So because I made that, it's like, hey, I'm going to stream Library FTK. That's kind of the idea. That's kind of the idea. So, yeah. I'm not gonna stream this like every week, I promise. Um, I I do actually enjoy playing the deck quite a bit, but I'm not gonna stream it every week. Um, and of course, if if people want me to play a different deck on stream, you, you know how to do it. You you just gotta simp, you know. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah. Let's let's, let's play some matches. Let's try to some good odds. I mean, some library FTK matches are not that interesting, but like some of them kind of are interesting. So, so we go second. We're gonna gonna give this guy gonna, you know, give him a fair fight here. Uh, so we got, like, double oath. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say go. Hey, hey, Lewis. Well, hopefully I don't, like, get duoed or something. I wouldn't really want to get duoed. Just because I got, like, card destruction, and I kind of want to draw, like, a bunch of cards, not, like, two less cards. Oh, yeah, this guy just card Saku Torrential. It's like he knew that Saku wouldn't be useful against me. Trenchel might be useful against me, though. Oh, man, his, his hand is ass. I might just, like, set a tune table and say go. Because we're not really under that much pressure. That's kind of like... One of the skills about Library FTK is, like, understanding... Sort of, like... How, how long can we wait, right? The nice thing is, like, in our deck, we're obviously trying to pay life points. So, like, this taking 1,500 is, like, actually, you know, arguably a good thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna like try to search out both Toon Worlds. Just sort of thin my deck here. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. I mean, I think we'll probably... I don't know, we'll have to see. We might not be able to FTK. I mean, not, not FTK. Um, we might not be able to kill our opponent this turn, but even if we don't, we'll probably be in a pretty decent position. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, wait for him to... Okay. So it looks like he's... I mean, it seems like he's on Warriors. I mean, we see a Warrior Lady and play Blade Knight on top.
He's saying sack. I mean, he could, I don't know, he could, like, chain, he could chain dust. Uh, so yeah, we should probably just try to, F um, I keep saying FTK. It's like turn three, he's probably trying to kill here. Because, I mean, you know, these two Thunder Dragons are, like, pretty good with card destruction. Um. So, I'm just, I'm just thinking here, because it's like... Gonna lose a feather, we're gonna lose a repro, is that fine? Yeah, it probably is, to be honest. This is actually pretty horrendous draws. Like, we somehow managed to draw, like, three bricks off of a card destruction. Okay. I, I just want to, like, know what, what cards our opponent's playing, right? If he's playing something really weird, I kind of want to know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we have some options here. I think we kind of just have to reload, though. I mean, it's, it's, it's shitty that, like, this is our play, but, you know. You know, some, sometimes you draw, like, five bricks. You know, what can you do? Alright, luckily these cards are good. I'll just draw one at a time just so you can see what I'm drawing. Yeah, these cards aren't that great. I mean, we can just go... Uh, yeah, we probably just want to go Trunade. Trunade, Convulsion, Oath. Oath draws into Oath. Uh, and then it probably depends on what the top card is what we do after that ah uh, suck a dick Uh, so let's see, we can, we can feather, uh, I really don't want to draw this cyber jar though. I really don't want to draw this cyber jar, but it's probably fine. 
Yeah, I don't think we want to reload yet. Probably just want to go Feather. Discard. Level limit. Put True Nade on top. It's actually surprising, like, how bad I've drawn. Like, my draws this turn have been very, very poor. But yeah, I mean, really, really all we need is we just need to pay 3,000 more and get, like, a pendant. And we're fine. Okay, we have we have true nade on top, so I I think I think we should be fine now. Uh, let's see. It's kind of a late library, but you know what what can you do really? Uh, do I like going to the actual library? I mean, it's not like 1994, so no. Uh, hmm. So I'm just thinking, do we want to just feather for true nade again? So let's see, we can... It's basically we can oath for a pre and just uh, activate reload. Yeah, we should probably just do that. Because the problem is I don't want to waste my third feather. That's 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 the thing. cards weren't that great either. Uh, so let's see. It's just very awkward because we drew we drew library so late, and that's that's what's really killing us here. So we can go Solar Pro for True Nade. We have one feather left. Uh, we'll need to get back Pendant somehow. Yeah, I think we kind of have to. Actually, don't really need this other true nade to be honest. I mean, it's fine that the the true nade on top here is basically an upstart goblin. That's sort of more or less what this is. Uh, okay, so the feather's good. Yeah, I think we're probably fine here. Uh, 
And we've already we've already summoned, of course. So okay, I think well, because the problem here is that we we have one library left in our deck. So you know, if if we're not able to draw our entire deck, uh, we we kind of have a problem here. Yeah, I think we probably just have to go for the uh, the 50-50. Or not the 50-50, it's like 80-20. Well, because let's see, we can we can activate activate three things. Draw a card. No, we can we can draw one more card. We can draw one more card. Uh, so we had a counter, goes to three, we draw. And then if that's library, then we're just guaranteed to win. Yeah, so we can just do this. I mean, technically we could try to keep digging deeper, but I don't think that accomplishes anything. Well, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like, if the card that we draw is something like an upstart, then we can potentially have guaranteed game, because we still have two upstarts left in our deck. Or one upstart left in our deck. Like, mathematically... You know, mathematically, um, there's... Hold on. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually doing this the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, we'll just call a judge here. No, I mean, I I didn't declare a target.
I don't know what this judge is talking about saying I discarded twice. I, I didn't lie. My intention was to play Convulsion and then play Feather. The game state hadn't changed. Okay, okay. We're back on the same page here. Uh, so we know our opponent plays Warriors, and we also know he's going first. So I've, I've talked about this in some of my videos, and Cyberjar is kind of like a shitty card against Warriors, since they just run like a bunch of Blade Knights. Uh, and, I mean, Heavy Storm is Heavy Storm. So, yeah, I mean, against Warriors, I pretty much just take out, um, take out Cyberjar, put in Heavy. Even if I'm going first, I would still rather do that because, I mean, as we saw from that game, you don't always FTK. Sometimes you, like, win on turn three or whatever, and Heavy's pretty nice for those games. Um, 
I mean, theoretically, we could bring in something like Messenger, but, like, Messenger's not very good against, like, Donzlug and Cliff the Trap Remover. Uh, so, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think that was an hour. That, that was an hour. That was, like, 25 minutes. Uh, this is, this is definitely a, I don't know, I'd say this is, like, a 4 out of 10 hand. Definitely not a great hand, um, but it could be worse. Definitely some cards would make it better. Like, uh, Thunder Dragon would make the hand a little better. Obviously, Potter Graceful would make the hand better. Um, speaking of Pot and Graceful... I will say, in my opinion, like, one of the things that makes Library FDK so unfair is the fact that, like, Trinity's in the format. Like, if, if there is no Trinity, I think this deck would be a lot worse. Because, like, this deck capitalizes on, on Trinity just so much better than, like, every other deck. Uh, I mean, I have Heavy, but I don't think we want to use it yet. I think we probably just want to, like, upstart, see what we draw. Uh, hmm. Well, what's the worst thing can happen? Our opponent can Don's Lugus, right? That's like the worst thing that can happen. Uh, no, our opponent has seven. Our opponent has seven cards. Three plus three plus one is seven. It's where he discarded Don's Lug. I don't know. I guess we'll say go. I mean, what are the odds he has another Dawn? He could have, like, pre or call. That's that's kind of a problem. I don't know. This might be kind of a tough hand. Alright, well... Yeah, we'll just... Well, I was gonna say we could concede. Because we set it at our Cyber Jar, which is our only out to that. But I, I, wa I want to see more cards, right? Because, like, our opponent might reveal some more stuff. Okay, obviously Kaiku is just a 1800 beat stick versus us. Alright, so we'll go to game three. Obviously, our opponent uh, opened pretty well. I mean, Pot Graceful, turn two Spell Canceler. I mean, Pot Graceful, set three back rush to for Spell Canceler is obviously pretty good. Uh, I mean, going first, the change we could make is we could side out Heavy for different Dimension Capsule. Uh, the advantage to that is, especially since we saw Spell Canceler, um, we're going to need to like FTK a bit more. Like, we're going to need to lean into the FTK a bit more. Because the problem is, well, I mean, we could go off on turn two. It is it is safe to go off on turn two, because our opponent can't summon Spell Canceler turn one. As he has, like, Graceful, Discard Spell Canceler, Premature Burial. That's, like, the only way he can summon Canceler turn one. So we probably do want Heavy in case we decide to, like, go off on turn two. Um, yeah, I mean, this deck can't really, like, side out to Spell Canceler, right? We're just kind of hoping they don't have it. Same thing with, like, Curse Seal. Um, yeah, I think we just, I think we just want to thin out our deck for, uh, for Oath. Is 
So we're just trying to get the convulsion of nature here. All right, that's not a convulsion of nature. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll just activate level limit, say go. This is not like a great turn one, but like it could be worse. Um, we do, we did draw like what four? Basically, we thinned our deck out by four cards turn one. Uh, hopefully, this isn't Cliff here. I'm kind of worried. I feel like he's just gonna slam Cliff. Okay, yeah, we don't. We definitely don't care about Exile Force. Exile Force is like basically a vanilla versus us. So yeah, I'm, I was glad he didn't like bring in the Cliff because going like Cliff kill your Archfiend's Oath would be pretty gross. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, if Warriors, if they come with, like, a good side deck, it could actually be a pretty tough matchup for us. Because if he had, like, Spell Canceler and Cliff, like, oh boy. But yeah, this guy opened, like, Pot Graceful again. Alright, luckily taking 900 isn't really the end of the world. Okay, so we do have Convulsion of Nature now. <sighs> Problem is, like, here we kind of get fucked by Dust Tornado either way. Because if we go Trunade, he'll just chain Dust, kill our Oath. So we can't even, like, Trunade to play around uh, Dust. Alright, he's just going to kill the Convulsion, which... I mean, I don't think is is the right play for him. Uh, so what do we want to call here? I mean, we could call convulsion, but obviously one of those is gone, so the odds of hitting that's pretty low. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just call, like, Royal Magical Library. If I mill a Convulsion here, I will be pretty upset. Okay, that's... That's fine. I mean, we didn't really want to draw Thunder Dragon. So, yeah, I mean, unless he just has, like, Spell Canceler again, like, should be fine. But he could easily have Spell Canceler again, you know? What, what, can, you, what can you do? Uh, yeah, this Heavy Storm isn't really going to help us out too much. Yeah, this is like pretty bad time to draw Heavy. Alright, I mean, milling another Thunder Dragon's fine, too. Yeah, I, yeah, I also hate the whole go thing. So here, we could do something, like, kind of weird, which is... We could, like, Trunade, and then, like, Premature Thunder Dragon and attack. Which, I mean... That's not terrible, I guess. I mean, it does stop us from taking damage. If he top decks Spell Canceler, it stops him from tributing for that. Oh, it's so gross. It's so gross, but I think we kind of have to do it. We can also activate our Oath again. Yeah, it's just weird, because it's like... It's like game one, and now game three, we just like haven't seen a library in like the top half of our deck. Which is like, pretty annoying. I have been trying Oath for Library. 
That's all I've been doing for like the last 10 turns. I mean, not, not 10, but you know what I mean. And obviously here, if our opponent just slams heavy, we're just losing. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I misplayed. I should have oath for library before the pre. Alright, so yeah, I mean, our opponent does use the Exile now. I mean, technically we knew he had that. He did Rota for Exiles. Uh, so we can feather something to the top now for Oath. It would be great if we had, like, Potigreed in our grave. That would be really nice. Um, <laughs> but obviously we, we don't. Oh, we don't have Potigreed? No, I mean, he did Rota for Exile turn one, so we knew that he had that. Because, like, the reason why I'm asking for a response here is because I don't want to hit Library and then have him go, Oh, I wanted to chain Dust on your Oath. Uh, so we could summon library here. I'm actually, like, we can't even activate three spells. I mean, we could go, like, library, heavy, Toon World, Pendant. We could go, like, library, Toon World, Pendant, Feather. Actually, going library, Toon World, Pendant, Feather might not be too bad. Because we just go Feather, discard the Heavy that we don't really need. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I think we're, like, not very favored to win this game. Just because of, like, how bad our start was. Um, there's just, like, a lot of things that our opponent could draw. Like, if he plays heavy, we're screwed. If he goes, like, pre for exiled, we're kind of screwed. If he goes, even, like, Breaker wouldn't be great, to be honest. Like, if he just goes Breaker, kill something, like, that would suck. Uh, he even has a Light and a Dark in his grave. So if he just, like, goes Chaos Sorcerer, like, kill your library, like, I don't know how he beat that. Like, our opponent's hand has to be, like... I don't know, if his, if his hand is like a bunch of like Kaikus and Didi Assailants, we can beat that, but like, that's about it, really. Like, anything else, and we're just, we're, we're just not really winning, right? I mean, um, I don't know, I mean, I guess if he has like more Solemn Judgments, that's fine. If he has like Torrential, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, even just going like Call for Exile is, is pretty strong. I mean, since he is at 3150, there is, like, a very small chance that we can, like, premature two Thunder Dragons and attack him for game. Yeah, we're just, we're just losing here. Like, Exiled Breaker, there's no way we're ever beating that. Yeah, Andy, I don't know why it took him so long to do this. Uh, 
Oh, his hand is his hand is actually two monsters. That's pretty funny. Cause realize if he if he could set a spell or trap, he could just get Blade Knight and kill us. Yeah, that, game game three we drew. Actually, all three of those games we drew pretty bad. Even like the game that we won, we didn't draw like very well at all. Um. That's fine. I mean, the cool thing is, is, like, we drew pretty bad, like, all three games, and yet we, like, it was a pretty close 2-1. You know what I mean? Like, our opponent definitely had, like, a lot of good cards. And yet, uh... You know, we still we still got to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, this is, this is why the games can be interesting sometimes. Like, game theory is kind of interesting. I just kind of wish we drew, like, a little better. You know what I mean? Just a little better. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go for it here. If this upstart, like, draws us into anything half-decent, well... Man, it sucks to be me. Oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to draw it. Um Okay, that's a good card. I mean to be honest, this isn't that Yeah, this isn't even that insane because we drew like both our Toon Worlds. So this this Toon table of contents is like basically an upstart goblin. It's funny, I actually might even should I just go spell reproduction here? Get back upstart goblin to draw two? Uh, because if we activate the tune table, we draw one. I'm trying to think if there's any if there's any reason to do this. If there's any reason to go repro for, for upstart. It's basically a minus a minus one and two thirds. Kinda, or minus one and a third. Yeah, probably not. We probably don't want to burn it yet. I mean, we probably won't FTK. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to FTK here. Um, but, I mean, we kind of ended on a reasonable board, and we have a second library, so it doesn't matter that much that he's going to kill uh, our library. So, I assume this is just gonna die. It's like we basically just ended on, like, seven cards with, like, 26 in our deck. I don't know. This isn't, isn't that terrible. We just need, like, a reload or a card destruction or, like, pot graceful, something like that. And if for some reason he just has no way to kill our library, that would be pretty sick for us. But this is, like, one of those hands where it's, like, if we had a level limit, this board would be so much better. Um... So, like, if instead of, like, drawing Thunder Dragon off the top, we drew a level limit, like, that would have been really spicy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really thrilled about that uh that heavy storm. I mean obviously getting rid of I mean, it kinda matters, right? Because that that could be like true nade true nade fuel for later. Um Oh, he's gonna go Sukiomi cross out. Okay, that's that's fine. Be honest, be honest. I, I I'm fine with all this so far. Like, okay, he he played a graceful. That's fine. He played heavy. At least we like got it out of the way. Um. 
And like cro and having a cross out gone is kind of nice because now we can, if we want to, we can set library and know, okay, he's like he's not really too likely to have another cross out. Uh, we can also just say go. Um, I mean that, yeah, that's that's also acceptable, I suppose. Again, if if I had like a level limit here, I'd be a lot happier. Uh, we're at 54. He doesn't have, like, light and dark or anything. See, so, yeah, worst case scenario, we'll get a... I don't know. Worst case is, like, we get attacked by a breaker or something. Go down to 35. I just think if there's any reason to set the library. And I can't come up with one. Because I don't want him to go, like, end phase, go to meta. Or even just, like, add sin... Well, actually, if he... If he metas and takes our guy... Well, no, he has Sukiyomi, so he'll still be able to attack us. Yeah, we'll just see you go. I don't know, maybe we should have activated Oath and just called, like, a random card. Probably should have just activated Oath called Convulsion Nature. I think that was what I should have done. Although, if we activate Oath, then we don't have it as something to add a counter to library later. So, I don't know, probably not. We probably made the right play. Just passing's fine. I mean, we know that we're up against a control deck, so, like... Yeah, you know, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna attack us for some damage. You know, whoop de doo Oh my god, why do we draw so bad? Why do we draw so bad? Yeah, now I just feel like I have to just summon library, hope he has nothing. Uh, and hope our Archfiend's Oath, like, draws us into something insane. Maybe he'll Torrential here, I'd be fine with that. If we want to just Torrential our guy. Even if he has, like, book, that's also okay, I guess. I mean, it's definitely not great, but... I like how, like, you... how often do you just type K in the chat and your opponent just ignores you? Uh, well, at least we're taking zero, so I've got that going for me. And he just played that wrong. Like, you're obviously- he's supposed to wait for me to play three spells and then chain ring to the third. Uh. So, let's see. If we activate Oath, we go down to 33. If he attacks us with a tribe, that's 17. If he also attacks us with Sukiomi, that's six. I don't know. Maybe we could just, like, top deck a Black Pendant and just randomly win that way. That's possible, I guess. I don't even know what to call here. I don't know if I should just be greedy and call something like Graceful Charity or something silly like that. Like, should we be sick and try to call one of? Probably not. Probably, probably should just call Giant Trunet. I think that's the right play. Oh, uh, level of it would have been a good one to draw. Yeah, I mean, let's say go and hope we're not dead, I guess. Um, I mean, he doesn't have light and a dark in his grave, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I mean, we know two of his cards, right? We know we know Sukiyomi and Sinister. Oh, another good card to call with Oath would have been Reload, actually. That was, I probably should have called Reload. I think Reload was the correct play. Because Reload's a 3-of, and it would have been really, really helpful. Oh, sp speak of the devil... Uh, I'm thinking if I should like keep quiz though, like just set quiz, just hope that we can draw a pendant and and cheese him. Uh, we have to find a way to do like three oath activations though. I 
We have, let's see, we have like one library left in our deck. We have three true nades. I don't know, I think we have to hope to get lucky. I mean, we could even like set the tune world and the quiz. Then if we draw a pendant, then we can pay five, pay a thousand, and then go quiz pendant for game. I, I think that's the correct play at this point. I think that's the correct play. He made it a little weird by like not attacking us with Tsukiyomi. Like I actually think he, he probably just made the right play by not attacking us with Tsukiyomi. At first I was like, huh, oh, that's weird. But then I was like, oh no, that actually makes sense. Uh, I mean, I guess we can premature library now. It's no reason not to, right? Well, let's see. If we premature, we go to nine. Yeah, we oh, if we go to eight. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no reason not to pre. I think. Obviously, having this Toon World set here is going to be a little awkward, but it's like, what can you do? Uh, yeah. Now, now things get awkward because it's like we can go convulsion, but then we're then we're just locked out as zones. Uh, we probably just have to go like card destruction for one or something silly like that. Can we feather for anything insane? Probably not. We just need like we just, what we needed was a true nade. If we had drawn a true nade, that would have been immensely helpful. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to hope to hit the Trunade off this Oath here. Uh, I, I guess we could have gone, like, Feather for Graceful on top. Maybe that was the play. Yeah, I probably should have gone Feather into Graceful. Yeah, so now it's like this card destruction has to draw us into something really nutty. Oh yeah, we'll just concede here. See anything interesting? Not really. Yeah, I should have just gone Feather into Greaseful. Because uh, yeah, we have two cards. We go Feather, discard one. Put Graceful on top. Oath for Graceful. And then, yeah, we probably would have been fine. Uh, yeah, I don't really think we side anything here. Uh, yeah, we're going first. I mean, we, we, we like everything in our main. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just call it a day here. Oh, this is a great hand. We we probably FTK here. Especially because we have Graceful and Reload. Like, having both those together is pretty nice. And obviously Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon Graceful is good in any deck, as it turns out. And, I mean, I guess we are going to have to Reload. I mean, we don't have to, but... Seems like no reason not to. I was hoping we wouldn't like have to use it immediately, but you know, what can you do? Uh, 
I mean, going upstart set cyber jar is fine, I guess. Yeah, no reason to activate convul. Well, we could convulsion, and then if we don't like the top card, we can alter it with tune table. But I, I don't think we need to do that. I think we're on the hope our opponent doesn't have cross out plan. But yeah, it's funny we haven't we haven't had a single FTK hand yet since we've been streaming. I was I was pretty convinced that we would FTK. But not not this time. Jesus Christ. How bad are we? I don't know why our opponent's not flipping his deck. Okay, there we go. Well, I don't want to draw another Convulsion of Nature. Don't want to draw one of those. Uh, yeah, I think we do want to draw a Reload. I mean, Reload definitely isn't the best draw, but I mean, come on, you know. We, we can't get that greedy here. And he has Spy in hand. Oh, man, that's so gross. That's so gross. Just, oh, Merchant, when we have Reload on top? Oh, it's so gross. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not hopeful about this game. I'm not, I'm not hopeful at all. Oh, my God. I, I promise I, I don't normally draw this bad. <laughs> I I don't normally draw this bad. I don't know. I mean, maybe this is one of those games where you just try to go the, you know, the natural quiz pendant combo. Because we have pendant in our hand. We have quiz in the grave. We just need some way to get back quiz. Yeah, maybe we could spell repro for quiz. I mean, if he attacks us for, like, the wrong amount of damage, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think we just say go. I think just saying go is correct play. Um, okay, good for you, man. You, get, you got faith. Like, what do you, what do you want from me here? Yeah, I don't even know what we discard now. I mean, we want Pendant, and we kind of want Toon Table to... Sh yeah, this Reload's going to be pretty shitty, so I think we're going to have to get rid of that. I don't know. I mean, may maybe somehow, if if we win this, you know, I'll be, I'll be pretty amazed. I will definitely make a big deal about it if we win this game. I don't think we're going to win this game, but it is possible. If all our opponent does every turn is attack us for 500, you know... But it is tough, because, like, if he has Book or Sukiomi, like, he just keeps duoing us, and it's like, you know, what do you, what do you do? And I think we want to draw level limit, too, because this set is probably a spy, 
and we want to level them at the spas to defense. Or maybe not. We, we might not level him at them to defense. Let's see what he does. If he has a third duo, though, I, th I think we're just losing. Like, his deck can beat two duos, but he can't beat three duos, un unfortunately. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, so let's see, 24, 29. Yeah, we're going to get attacked for at least 29. Oh, he has Regeki Break on top. Man, that sucks. We can level limit, but then he just draws into Regeki Break, kills our level limit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can deal with that. I mean, we will get to stop his guys for one turn at least. Uh, we do not want to draw Feather, though. We do not want to draw Feather. Or, I don't know, do we? No, I don't think we want to draw Feather. Uh, I don't want to draw that either, though. Ah, well, another level limit. That's interesting. This could be a weird game. Ah, uh, those guys aren't in defense. Would be sick if it just turned everything to defense, but it's not it's not that broken unfortunately. How good would that be if there is a card that was basically just a permanent like swords revealing light? Just just every face up monster gets turned to defense. That actually just seems broken. Oh he just he just had the book for faith the whole time? He's he's had it like he could have dueled me last turn and didn't. Man, this okay, we're we're losing now. <laughs> Alright, we're losing. He's gonna he's gonna duo us and heavy us. Yeah. Yeah, that was For a second I thought we were gonna make the comeback. For a second I was like, okay, well he right Geki breaks our level limit. We draw into another one. We take five hundred for a few turns. Okay, this is going well. And he's like, No, I have another duo and a heavy. I just didn't want to use it last turn for some reason. Yeah, that was that was kind of rough. I mean, game game one we arguably could have won if we played better. Oh, this guy this guy kind of struck me as a rock thrower. Yeah, he, he he's gonna go to rock. We got we got the reads. Oh wow, this is a really good hand. This is like one of those hands where it's like you don't have library, but it's fine because your hand's still the nuts. Uh, thank you, Daniel Rodriguez, for, uh, for, for, for subscribing. Uh, and, and thank you, Shudo, for following. Uh, so now it's like... It's interesting, we have Cyberjar in hand, but we obviously know our opponent has cross out, so you know, <laughs> we don't wanna we don't wanna do that. So yeah, I think we'll just trunate all this stuff to our hands. Um And just draw into the reload, reload back our Cyberjar, because obviously Cyberjar doesn't really do anything when you know for a fact that your opponent has cross out. Uh, 
Let's see, do we want to draw into this too? I'm just thinking how we want to do this. We can go Oath. Because we could just go like Feather for Trunade. Just Feather put Trunade on top. Oh, he left. Okay, well... We're just gonna hope that you know he's just having a bit of connection issues. I'm sure I'm sure he'll be back any minute here. But yeah, I think the play is just to go feather discard Savage or put Trunade on top, oath for Trunade, activate Trunade, draw another two, and kind of see see where things go from there. I mean, it's definitely not GG. It's definitely not GG. Like I mean, we it might be GG, but it's definitely not GG for sure. But Having the Oath to draw into the Toon Table, and then using Toon Table to manipulate the top card of our deck, and then being able to draw another card with Oath, that's obviously, like, very, very strong. Um, it's just interesting, because if we hadn't seen Crossout on top with Convulsion, I might have actually just gone for, like, a kind of, like, end the combo early, set Cyberjar and say go kind of a thing. But if I know for a fact that my opponent has Crossout, obviously we can't do that. Um... Unless we did something weird like trunate our things back to our hand, don't activate Convulsion, and then know that he won't be drawing into a cross out. That's like the other play that you could do. Um, which, I mean, especially depending on the matchup, there can be merit to that. Because if you're saying, hey, there's only two cross outs in your deck, I know one of them's on the bottom, you can be pretty sure that they probably don't have the other one. But... <laughs> But anyways, uh, let's let's try that again. Let's try that again. Yeah, Doug doesn't want to give me an opponent here. Wow, this guy's ranked eighty-seven. He uh, how how do you, how is someone ranked that low? Okay, I won't I won't make fun of him. That just that just does seem a little low to me. Come on, you're gonna go back to rock. Okay, there we go. Be being good at RPS is is very helpful <laughs> when you're piloting this deck. You definitely want to be an RPS master. Uh, so yeah, I mean, whether we go tune table reload or just reload, it's like, I think there's kind of some debate there. Um, we could also do something like set Archfiend's Oath, activate, reload. I, I wouldn't hate that, just because, like, it kind of works out well if, like, we draw, I don't know, like, say, Convulsion off the reload. Something like that. I don't know. It Like, statistically, I'm not sure what the right play is here. Um... But yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna go Toon Table, Toon Table, Toon World, just just to like thin out my deck. And then you go. Okay, we're gonna reload, draw five, and you know, seeing five out of thirty-four cards, I think there's a decent chance, um, one of them is a convulsion. And even if it's not, like if we draw into something like Pot of Greed Feather, that works too. Okay, well we got we got one of them. We got one of them. Feather? Okay, I got Feather and Graceful. Okay, I'm definitely not complaining here. I'm definitely not complaining. So yeah, we'll see what the Graceful draws us into. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Uh, 
Uh, well, shit. I'm trying to think if we can discard the pendant. Yeah, we probably can. We got double repro and feather. Yeah, we, we can discard the pendant. That's the nice thing about running three repro, three feather, is you know that, like, you can you can do stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can, like, FTK without, like, even seeing library in the top half of your deck. Wow, this guy's running 49 cards. I feel bad. I feel like this guy's gonna quit GOAT format after <laughs> after this match. He's like, fuck this format. Believe it or not, I don't play this deck to make people quit GOAT format. I know some people are thinking that, like, this is like a, oh, I want to watch the world burn kind of thing. I just legitimately think this is a good deck, and I have fun playing it. And, um, you know, it, it's just one of those things where I just kind of feel like by, you know, it's, it's like, it's raising awareness. That's what it is. Raising awareness. And I might not even FTK this turn. I might not even FTK. Because we're going to go, like, repro for pot of greed. I mean, we're obviously going to discard convulsion. Uh, and I guess we're discarding level limit, too. I don't know. Yeah, we just need, we just need the true nade now. Yeah, I guess we just go... What do we even do here? Obviously, we're gonna go, like, summon library, do something. I'm just thinking what the something is. Because, like, upstart's kind of a good card. Um... Probably go repro... Probably go repro, discard repro, and reload for pot agreed. Activate pot agreed. Draw two, activate upstart, draw. And then we can activate... Library and draw. I don't know, this is probably fine. Yeah, I mean, in chess, I play like kind of standard openings, to be honest. Okay, there's the true nade. Now, now we're fine. Now we're fine. Uh, problem is, we still do have to figure out how to like pay enough life. Uh, so we got Thunder Dragon for the sh for the shuffle. Uh, I think we want to draw into this feather though. Uh, yeah, we probably want to draw into this feather. Oh, okay, and 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 now we have True Nate on top, so we're definitely doing fine now. I don't know, to be honest, I think I think Library FTK is probably like better in GOAT format than Scientist was in like most of the formats that it you know. It was better than Scientist was most of the time. Yeah, so we say like a Toon World or a Premature Burial. We need something like that. Okay, Premature, that's perfect. Uh so yeah, I mean we'll just go. Do we have library and grave? No, we don't. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, with Pre, we do pay life slightly faster. Yeah, I, to be honest, like, I can't really judge that much, because, like, when Scientist was a good deck, I, like, wasn't a competitive player. Like, I played, but I wasn't competitive, you know? So, uh, to be honest, I don't really know how good Scientist was. But my impression was that, like, it was definitely a top-tier deck, but it wasn't, like, uber-broken. That My impression could could be wrong. Could be wrong. I mean, here I actually don't know if I'm going to FTK, because, like, just because, like, paying life is hard. Um, because we go to 34, 29, I mean, we'll probably be able to FTK, but it's going to be a pretty close call. Um, I might even have to do something like, like, Feather for Toon World or something. I was kind of hoping I would draw Toon World sooner. I don't know, we'll, I, we'll probably just, like, you know, see what we draw here. Man, where's my Toon World? I play two Toon Worlds. One of them's still in the deck, guys. One of them's still in the deck. Yeah, we did like we did like our third Toon Worlds and Trunade. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just upstart here. I mean, third Feather's nice, but it's not really what we need. See, so yeah, I think we'll go uh, Feather. To discard library, put Trunade on top, and then go uh, Premature, which puts the third counter on library, gets back second library, and then this draws us into Trunade. And. Oh, our opponent's typing. Yes, for works every time. That's a, that's a good question to ask if you're new to this deck. This is working. Yeah, it's like 80% of the time it works every time. It's like an Anchorman quote, I think. Uh...
Uh, so let's see, let's see. Yeah, we'll just, we probably can't go wrong here. Uh, and then, yeah, that's, that's two counters, because, because Trinade was one, Convulsion's two. And we'll draw with Oath first, because obviously paying 500 is a good thing. Um, we, we literally might not even activate these libraries. Okay, so we got, we got Toon World. That's, that's important. So let's see, Toon World puts us at 14. Pre puts us at, uh, 600. And then we just need to activate another Oath. Yeah, I think I think we should be fine. Because we'll have three cards left in our deck. We're gonna feather yeah, we'll just feather like a true nade to the top, and then I think we'll probably be okay. Yeah, and in fact we can actually we can even activate oh, yeah, I, I I think unless I've like grossly miscalculated, I don't really think there's any way this can go wrong. Famous last words. So let's see, Oath, that's plus a counter. Oh yeah, so there's there's a counter on this. Uh... And then yeah, I think we if we just feather Trunade to the top, we're pretty much fine. Uh, so that's two counters. And then, yeah, now we'll activate Oath. Draw into Trunade. And then we'll... Activate Toon World. And then we go... Yeah, we just go Trunade, Trunade, draw, draw. I don't know, probably just one draw. Yeah, I mean we're 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 winning this either way. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's funny because we could potentially just like blind oath and know what the next card is. That might actually be a thing that we do. Uh, okay, so we just need to... Yeah, we just need to go Oath, call a random card, and then we just win. Oh no, we need to... We need to feather... Yeah, we need to feather Pendant to the top. And then go uh, Oath, call, Pendant. And then we know that the last card is a spell. Yeah, I mean, there's probably multiple ways we could have done this. 
I think she's pretty nice about it. This is the kind. These are the kind of people that we need playing Go format. Like gets FTK'd, has absolutely no complaints. He's just like, "Huh, I've never seen this deck before. How does this work? Is it Exodia?" These are the, these are the kind of people that we need playing Go format. And he he said GG, so I'm gonna say GG back. I'll never like. Yeah, I'll never FTK someone and say GG myself, but if they say it first, then it's then it's okay. I I could. I don't know. I, I feel like that's kinda I don't know what the word is for it. I feel like that's kind of almost like a dick move. Like, hey, I just FTK'd you. Here's a video how to not get FTK. I don't know. People take it different ways, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, like, in general, I mean, not, like, in real life, but, like, on the internet, when you say, hey, I want to help you, a lot of people just say, no, fuck off, I don't need your help. Yeah, it seems seems smug or presumptuous, you know, it's... It'd be like if I, like, mugged someone in the street, and then say, hey, here's a video on how to not get mugged, right? Like, that would... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you did that, you just beat the shit out of someone. Here's a self-defense video, so this doesn't happen again. Yeah, I don't know. I Okay, if he asks me, if he asks me how to beat the deck, I will show him the video. If he says anything in the chat that is, like, remotely related to, like, uh... You know, anything remotely related to, oh, wow, how do I beat this? Then I will show him the video. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I mean, there's some ways of looking at this. Uh, Shito, this deck wasn't known in GOAT format. Library FTK wasn't discovered until 2006 by Vincent Tundo. Um, and in fact, uh, people used to call the deck Tundo FTK. You know, kind of like naming it after him. So yeah, I'll flip the deck. Um, yeah, sure, I guess we'll draw up start. I guess he's gonna preemptively gain a thousand. So yeah, so now we'll use Thunder Dragon to shuffle, because we definitely don't want to draw this Toon World. I never laughed at anyone who played Convulsion Nature. Speak for yourself. Uh, so yeah, we'll just activate a level limit, say go, I guess. This is like... In general, this is like the best non-FTK hand. The hand where you just go, Convulsion Oath, draw a card, level limit, your guys, say go. I didn't even see what he drew. Can someone tell me what card he drew for his turn, just so I know? Oh, he's activating Cyber Jar! Okay, this is a spicy one. I, I, I definitely have no complaints about that. I have no complaints about that at all. Oh, oh, it's Mind Crush. Okay. Oh, Spell Canceler. That's... Oh, so... Yeah, if he had gotten Spell Canceler plus, like, a random monster, he could have distributed for Spell Canceler and basically won. I don't know, maybe he could still win. He could just, like, premature something. Yeah, basically, now now we're in the scenario of if he if he plays Spell Canceler, if he finds a way to play Spell Canceler this turn, we lose. Um, 
Oh, he does have premature. Yeah, did, did we see that, I guess? Okay. Yes, okay. I mean, I don't need to show him the video on how to beat Library FTK. This guy, this guy already knows. I mean, ironically enough, I forgot to put Spell Cancer in my video. Someone pointed that out in the comments. So yeah, so now I just need to draw my own Cyber Jar. I did not side Cyber Jar out. No, I can I can top deck Cyber Jar and then and then we can win. I mean, obviously you can't top deck it this turn because we know the top card's Feather. Ah, oh, see, I told you guys, this game's easy. This game's easy. Oh, and see, he isn't even gonna mind crush our Cyber Jar. I mean, he could have he could have mind crushed Cyber Jar. Then then we would have lost. Oh shit! You're right. I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if we know that our out's the last card in our deck, uh, we're obviously, you know, <laughs> we're obviously just going to concede there. No no need to waste this guy's time. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just try to FCK him game three. We're just going to try to FCK him game three. I think that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we shouldn't have drawn the feather for our turn, obviously, or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, sh should we do that? Should we do that? Should we just side in Sangin just to get Cyber Jar? I don't know. For me, it's like I feel... First of all, when people are siding Spell Cancel, it's usually like only two. And then it's like... Since we're going first... Since we're going first game three... Um... Oh yeah, I, I definitely... I, I'm definitely not offended if you guys are rooting for my opponent. Um, but yeah, so it's like the earliest he could play the Cancellor's turn too, so it's like I'm not really too worried. Oh, well we have the absolute stone cold nuts, so we're just, we're just not losing this game. We are not losing this game. Oh, and we have giant tree net on top. Okay, it's, come on guys. We don't, we don't lose these. We don't lose these. Um... So yeah, we definitely want to upstart. Oh, and we have another giant Trunade, just just in case. I don't know. If he doesn't want to gain a thousand, I guess we don't really care. To be quite honest. Uh, we definitely don't want to draw into Tune Worlds. Oh, okay, yeah, I got another oath. See, I, I think we're winning this one. Oh, wow, third oath. Third oath, that's, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, we'll discard the library in case we draw premature burial. No reason not to pot agreed here. All right, so we'll activate Oath and draw the other card first. Yeah, and I don't think paying life's gonna be an issue this game. I definitely don't think uh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, and he remembered to gain the thousand. How how nice of him. Uh I don't to be honest, we're not really gonna need this card destruction, so uh, upstart's fine though. Um, so yeah, I guess it was repro for Trunade. Seems like the obvious play here. Not going to need this level limit or this convulsion. I mean, I think this guy's just playing, like, a pile of cards. Like, I mean, he's literally playing 49 cards. We saw, like, Nimble Bomonga. We saw, like, Royal Command main deck. I mean, Royal Command isn't, like, terrible, I guess. Um, Royal Command's definitely not terrible. But it's not very good. Okay, I guess we'll draw this two in worlds. I mean, there are actually like a lot of casual go format players. Um, like it, it's funny, like. The, like, the first, like, like one of the first five people that joined the, like, the GOAT format Discord or whatever, he was like, oh, I, I'm interested in GOAT format because I heard, like, like, e-heroes are, are in it and are decent. And we were kind of like, well... Okay, there we go. 
sort of stuttered there for a second. Um, yeah, I don't know. This was just like feather or true nade to the top. We just need, we just need true nades at this point. Yeah, I don't think I want to activate card destruction, guys. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, at this point we can just activate double Toon World and then just like feather a random card to the top and then call it correctly and then go pendant quiz win, right? Do we have that? We got pendant. Do we not have quiz? Yeah, and we have quiz and we have feather. Okay, it's just game over. I'm gonna I'm not gonna draw my entire deck. I'm gonna like I'm gonna let him off a little easy. No, if, if Quiz is the last card in the deck, you have plenty of ways to win. Yeah, like, that's that's not an issue at all. I mean, in fact, like, you kind of want Quiz to be, like, one of the last cards in your deck. Because it, obviously it's a brick, like, when you're comboing off, right? Like, Pendant is, like, not a huge brick because you can, like, activate it and add counters to your library. Um... But quiz is actually just like a brick in you know at the beginning of your combo. So yeah, if I if I had like magic powers and could always make quiz the last card in my deck, I absolutely would do that. Well, I mean, of course, convulsion would flip over your deck and then you'd draw it. Y you know what I mean? Y you guys know what I mean? If I could always make quiz the last card that I would ever see in my hand, then I I would do that. Because that would that would definitely make the deck better. Uh, yeah, it's like eight forty three. So these, these games weren't too eventful. I mean that that match we actually like just won the die roll and FTK twice. And to be honest, like those are the most like uninteresting matches. Um, and that, I mean, it's not most of your matches, but you definitely have a few of those. I mean, I guess we'll play one more. I mean, if, if, if anyone wants to simp for me, I'll play one of your decks. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, Nick Tunio. I feel like this guy's name's familiar. Hopefully he's not watching. Oh, this is a good hand. I and mean, we got like Thunder Dragon, Pot, and Upstart. You know, it's pretty pretty good hand. I mean, Raz Bash. I mean, it it doesn't matter. Like. You can you can send me a deck of like forty vanillas, you know, I You just you you just gotta simp first. That's that's the only requirement. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, this is probably like one of these non-FTK hands. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, just going activate level limit, set cyber jar pass. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable start. You know, if you have something like Raigeki Break, he can only deal with one of our cards. Man, they just always have Cross Out, though. They just always have Cross Out. Every time you've set Cyber Jar, the person just immediately has Cross Out. Maybe we should just stop playing Cyber Jar. Uh, th th thanks, thanks, Rush, Bash. So let's see, he goes Cross Out. And too graceful. Oh, okay, this isn't good. If he's discarding Cyberstein, oh my god, his hand must be nutty. He probably just has, like, double Stein, and he's like, well, I guess I'll discard one. Ah, oh, see? I told you. I told you guys. Man, he has Stein and Raigeki Break. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, hopefully he gets Last Warrior here instead of Balter. Hopefully he's not watching my stream. So that he knows what to get. Oh, he's just gonna he's just gonna go for game? He just has Megamorph? Oh no, he's just he's gonna attack us. Okay. He is he is about that life. I mean, we might just lose to it. Our hand is all bricks. I mean, we can premature Thunder Dragon, but that doesn't really accomplish a whole lot. I mean, we can up, we can activate Oath and just try to like get lucky, but that's not exactly the best plan either. Oh, we can repro for Potigree though. That's that's a pretty decent plan. Uh, I just think what to discard. I mean, we're not gonna need this pre. Uh, do we need the quiz? We probably do. Yeah, we don't want to discard Trinator Oath, so I think that kind of... kind of only leaves us one option here. Okay, he just, he just had ring for game. Oh wait, was that not game? What life was he at? Oh no, he is. Okay, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a draw. Yeah, that's yeah. So yeah, our, our upstart basically allowed us to allowed him to kill us instead of drawing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think we probably want Swords of Cain Ceiling Light for this matchup because I mean we saw double, we saw two Cybersteins. So we definitely want the uh, the swords to deal with. I mean, it deals with Balter and um and Last Warrior. It deals with both. Yeah, I'd probably just do something like this. I mean, this is a pretty decent, like, going first side and going second. Because obviously, like, if we're just going for the combo, like, Swords is just a random continuous spell to combo with True Nade. Uh, well, I mean, this hand, I mean, it's not a great hand, but... Oh, okay, well, now we have Pot of Greed, so that makes it a lot better. Uh, is there a reason to Convulsion yet? I don't know, I don't really think so. Okay, yeah, now we have Convulsion Oath and True Nade, so yeah, I think...
Um, oh, we got reload. So yeah, drawing Thunder Dragon is actually pretty nice. I mean, at least this guy's running Stein, so I feel like he can't he can't be that upset. Like if you're main decking multiple Steins, like you can't get that mad at that library, right? I mean, Stein is just a slippery slope to library, you know. Uh, man, I don't really want Convulsion on top. I might just set Trunade, activate Reload. Or we can just, like, go Spell, Spell, Trunade. Yeah, probably just going Spell, Spell, Trunade is, is better, I think. Man, and a Toon World on top. Man, these draws are, are not the best. I mean, we'll probably still get FTK, but, you know. It's definitely going to be a, a tough one. Uh, I mean, Toon Table's kind of good. It thins out our deck, which is nice, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go like set spell repro, activate reload. Cause we have like a lot of shit cards that we wanna shuffle back. We drew double. We drew like almost the same hand. I mean, it wasn't like literally the same hand, but we, we like put back two Thunder Dragons, two Toon Worlds, and then just drew two Thunder Dragons in a Toon World. It's like, are you fucking serious? Okay, drew another reload, so that's nice. Give this a little insurance policy. Uh, see, so yeah, I think I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. Just set set a repro, activate reload. I mean, this time we're reloading for eight. Last time we only reloaded for seven, so we're uh, we're getting somewhere. All 
All right. Well, at least we only drew one Thunder Dragon. That's uh, that that's progress. That's progress. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just probably get back True Date here. Just go like Repro, Discard, Convulsion, Swords of Concealing Light. I think we're going to get back Potagreed also. Uh, Dark Balter isn't mandatory. Oh shit, we have Oath on top. Oh, I don't think I want to shuffle that in. Uh, so there's a small chance we could draw the second Toon World here, which would kind of suck. There's a 1 in 17 chance, but we're just going to hope that doesn't happen. All right. Cool beans. Yeah, I mean, paying life won't be an issue, so so that's always good to know. Yeah, we definitely want to shuffle here. We don't want this convulsion. Oh, we have Trunade on top. Okay, this, this game is over. I just need to make sure I don't pay, like, too much life. But I don't think that'll be an issue. I mean, we can activate Toon World. We go to 15. Trunade. And then go Oath, Oath. No, we probably don't want a Toon World here. So let's see. How many more? We have one Trunade in our hand. We can repro for it again. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't think we actually want a Toon World here. Yeah, according to my calculations at least. Cause we 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 just, we just don't need to pay that much life. Okay, we do have a reload in our hand as, as an insurance policy here. Uh, so we'll go to 15, and then we can just, yeah, we can just go, uh, like, spell repro, discard two tune worlds, get back true nade, true nade, yeah, okay.
Yeah, we can just end the combo early. Because we can just go activate Oath, activate Oath, call two random cards. Um, go to 500, feather something to the top, and then just go Pendant Quiz for game. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't like our odds game three, to be honest. Like, I don't really know what he's playing, because it's weird. Game one, we saw two Cyber Steins in Raigeki Break, and I can't, like, think of a single deck that... Like, a single mainstream deck that plays both of those cards. Uh, So, I mean, that's a little weird. But, yeah, we'll just try to, like, not get Stein to death. Basically, you know, just hope that if he steins, we have the Swords con Concealing Light, right? We got three Swords Concealing Light. He plays either, I don't know, two or three Cyber Steins, I guess. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, obviously he has the advantage because he's going first. I mean, this would be an amazing going first hand. Just Library, Tune Table, Pot of Greed. But, you know, since he's going first, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen, boys. Ah, uh, he says, hmm, I don't know if that's that's good for me or bad for me. What do you guys think? Are you are you bullish on this whom? Uh, okay, cold wave. And uh, what's his follow up? If you guys cold wave pass, I'm I'm not I'm not too worried. We definitely have a lot of like cold wave cyber stein decks now. For some reason that's that's a thing that people do. Okay, he's, he's thinking what to stein for. Um Yeah, I don't know. I mean They're definitely it 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 depends. Depends what he gets, depends what we draw. Uh there are definitely some stein targets that are better than others. I mean, he could Stein for, like, Reaper of the Nightmare. Oh, he's just going Berserk Gorilla. Uh... So if he Steins, how much damage would that be? Mass 49, 69. You could, like, leave this at 11. It's where he looked at his extra. I don't know if that's, like, him trying to, like, mind game us, or if he actually has the Stein, you know what I mean? Uh... I don't know, I think we should probably just set library. I mean, it it feels bad, but, like, if he has Stein, it, it blocks damage. I don't know, maybe we're not supposed to set library. It's hard to say, because, like, again, we don't really know, like, what kind of deck he's on. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously that's not great for us. I don't know, it seems like if he had Stein, playing that would have been better than Exiled. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, okay, we have pre for library, like, into the nuts, so I think we're probably gonna win this game. Alright, so yeah, let's, let's just, like, thin out our deck first. Just to make sure we don't, like, pot agreed into tune table god forbid all right reload's good we always, we always like uh the old reload insurance policy i guess reload is it's an, it's an insurance policy Uh, 
Oh, now we have another library. I mean, not that it matters, because I think we're just going to reload. Yeah, we're just going to reload, right? I mean, we could, like... We could go Feather Discard Library for Potigree. Draw into Potigree. See what the pot draws us into. And then, if, like, the pot draws us into, like, Trunade, we can Trunade back the prey and then get another library. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem terrible. And, like, obviously having a library in our grave rather than in our deck is kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this, this, this seems good to me. I feel like this can't be that bad of a play. Oh, wow. Thunder Graceful. Jesus Christ. We, we definitely got lucky there. No, no need to sugarcoat it, guys. We got lucky. When your pot agreed for two cards, effectively turns into a pot agreed for three cards. Uh... Well, we're, we're definitely going to try to just kill him this turn, I think. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm probably just going to discard two and then reload. All right, it's probably the play. I don't know, maybe set Oath and reload? Because if we draw into a Feather, a Convulsion, Oath has to be pretty good. Uh, we can also have Spell Reproduction for Potagreed. That That works, too. Yeah, we'll just, like, do that, I guess. And one of the cool things is that if we need to pay extra life, we can just attack into his Berserk Girl and take 2,000. So because of that, like, you know, I'm not worried about discarding both my Toon Worlds, because we can basically deal as much damage to ourselves as we want. Um, so, like, we can definitely get rid of this Toon Worlds. And we don't want the Swords of Concealing Light either, I think. Oh, why did I not discard the Thunder Dragons to Graceful? What was I thinking? I don't know. I'm, I'm high, guys. There's something, something weird going on with me. Oh, now we have a uh, oath feather. And three reloads. That's a lot of reloads. How do we not have giant trunade yet? That's what I want to know. So we'll activate oath, put a counter. There actually can be some weird, like, chain reload plays that you do. Not like now, but sometimes you can do weird things, like if you open double Thunder Dragon, you go activate Thunder Dragon, chain reload to your Thunder Dragon. That's like a cool trick that you can do sometimes. Wow, we still don't have True Aid. There are 13 cards left in our deck, and three of them are Giant True Aid. Uh, so let me see. And we still have Quiz and Pendant in our deck too, right? Yeah. So there's 13 cards in our deck. Quiz, Pendant, and three True Aids are among them. I don't know, we'll just, I think we'll just get another pot agreed. 
Like, one of the things that makes this deck disgusting is, like, how much it abuses Potter. That's why I was saying, like, if Trinity wasn't in the format, this deck would just be, like, so much worse. Because this deck just, like, abuses the shit out of Pot of Greed. Oh yeah, and we still have three Convulsions in our deck, too. I forgot that. Our deck is literally, like, three Churnades. Okay, well, there, there's a Convulsion. But it's like, yeah, this has been some, like, really weird draws. Uh, so in the format that this deck was discovered, Pot was banned, but Graceful wasn't. And keep in mind, there was no duo in that format. So it's like, okay, you didn't have Pot, but then your opponent didn't have duo. So it was like... And keep in mind, like, like Book of Moon was limited to one, so, like, they couldn't... They only had one book for your library. I don't know. They're, in general, like, there were, there were a lot of things to like about this deck in 2006. Um, see, I'm just thinking here. Yeah, we still we still don't have True Nade. Um. Yeah, I think I might just reload. Yeah, I think I'll just reload. Like reload for seven. Like, are we really gonna, like, draw 7 out of 17 and still see, like, no true nade? It's possible. Wow, there's still, yeah, there's still no true nade. That's, that's almost amazing. Yeah, this guy's saying he misplayed versus me. I mean, I believe it. This is why you guys, like, need to actually, like, play against this deck. Because if you play against this deck, you won't misplay against it. Uh, so let's see, we'll go to 32, 24, attack gorilla, we'll go to 400. Yeah, I, th I think we should be fine here. Uh, we have it. We have yet another true nade. Can you make this deck into an NFT? I, I mean, I guess. I don't... Like, I know what NFTs are, but I have no idea how to make them. So, I guess that means no.
We can go... Oh, yeah, we have two true nades. If we have two true nades, we're definitely fine, right? Because let's see, we go... Well, shit, we go activate true nade, draw two, activate true nade, draw two, and then feather, pendant... Yeah, then we just feather something to the top. And then, and then we're fine. Pretty sure. Yeah, in fact, we, we don't even use our libraries here. Unless, I, unless I'm missing something. and It's, like, impossible to return these cards to my hand. This is, like, what I hate about Dueling Books UI. Yeah, we, we definitely win here. Yeah, it's funny. I thought I might have to, like, attack the Berserk Girl at some point in order to, um, like, deal myself enough damage, but it actually worked out in such a way that that is not the case. Okay, well, that was like, I think we played like five matches or something. Right? We played five matches. W one of the matches, like, our opponent just, like, quit out as soon as we started comboing. And then we went, like, 2 2 otherwise. Yeah, I, I know, like, I, I kind of, like, harp on, like, man, DB sucks, DB sucks, DB sucks, but it, it really does. Like, I, on one hand, it's like, don't get me wrong, it, it could definitely be worse. Like, I've heard, like, I don't know. Someone was telling me that, like, he plays, like, Card Fight Vanguard, and apparently, like, the simulator for that game, there's, like, only one viable online simulator, and it's, like, total shit. It's, like, worse than Dueling Book by Miles. It's, like, made by someone in Russia or something. He was like, yeah, the only simulator is, like, made by someone in Russia. I'm like, oh, that's, that, that's a little suspicious. Yeah, let's, let's play Russian Simulator. It's probably gonna, like, steal my credit card number. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like... YVD was not great, but, like... Objectively speaking, it wasn't, like, that much worse than Dueling Book. It kind of had its pros and cons. Like, YVD was... YVD was definitely very good for its time, I'll put it that way. Um... So, so Seb got... Someone brought up uh, Last World Toon Cannon before... Um, I played it on one of my streams, like, a few weeks ago. Um. Yeah, um. The, the problem... Okay, so, in my opinion, the main problem with going Last Will Toon Cannon is the fact that, like, it doesn't come up a lot, but even on stream today, sometimes I would just have, like, Pendant Quiz in my hand, but not be able to, like, draw a million cards... And occasionally, like, if your opponent attacks you, like, say, like, there was a game where, like, our opponent attacked us down to, like, 17. And I was like, oh, if I can go, like, Toon World Archfiend's Oath and then put myself at 200, then I can just go Pendic Quiz for game without having to draw my whole deck. So that's, like, what I think the advantage of, like, Pendic Quiz is, is that sometimes, like, you can open, like, a shit hand and just cheese your opponent because they, like, attack you down to, like, the wrong amount. Whereas with Last Will Toon Cannon, you, like, you can't really do that. I mean, because the problem is, is that for that to work, um, you would need to have a monster. So you can potentially cheese them with, with Last Will Toon Cannon, but it's, it's a little harder. Your opponent would have to, like, attack you down to, like, a weird amount, and you're able to pay enough life and you're also, like, able to put a library in play. And then... Because you need something to trigger your last will, right? Um, and, like, I also like the fact that Pendant... Even some of the games we play today, Pendant actually is, like, a combo piece, right? Like, and I don't mean, like, combo piece, like, like, win condition. I mean combo piece, like, you can use it to draw cards. 
right? Because going like, oh, I'm going to pendant my library, churnade, put my pendant back, activate pendant, draw a card. Like, that's a real thing. You can't do that with with Last Will. Um, and in general, like, playing spells is better than playing monsters, right? Because you can discard them to spell reproduction. So, like, if you're stuck with, like, a Toon Cannon Soldier in your hand, and you have a spell reproduction you want to activate, you can't discard your Toon Cannon to spell reproduction. But you can discard, like, Quiz or, or Pendant. So, um... I don't know. Overall, it's, like... It's, it's fine, but, like, to me, there aren't very many advantages. The advantages are, like, incredibly slim. Where, you know, the advantage of, like, oh, if you open, like, Last Will Toon Table without Library, you can, like, Toon Table for Toon Cannon and go Last Will in the Library. But, like, that only works if your hand is, like, really good. Like, if the other four cards in your hand are really good. Because the problem is, is that in order to do that, you've already wasted two spells... So if it was something like you opened, like, I don't know, Potagreed, Potagreed Toon Table Last Will without Library, then, like, that would be pretty good. But, like, otherwise it's not that great. Although, I guess also the advantage is that, like, you can Last Will for Library and Defense, so that, like, even if you don't FTK, at least your Library is in Defense instead of in Attack Mode. But... Um... Uh, overall, I, I, I get, like, I, I don't know, may, maybe I, I just can't think of what the real advantages are. They, they seem, the advantages seem very situational, where the disadvantages are not situational. They're, like, actually real. I guess there are other things you can do with Black Pennant. Like, if your opponent, like, solemns himself down to 2,000... You can premature your Thunder Dragon, equip a Black Pendant on it, and attack him for game. Not saying it's going to like come up very often, but, you know, y you never know. You never know. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. Despite the fact that it's called Library FTK, it's not really, like, a pure FTK deck. Like, you do have to... Like, you do have to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, more than people think. Uh, the problem with, like, Rota into Exile, into Last... Rota Exiled Last Will, is that, like, a lot of the cards that you'd want to out, like, stop Exiled. Right? Because, like, if they go Stein for Last Warrior, obviously Ro Exile isn't out to that. If they go Stein for Bolter, well, then they can just go Bolter to get your Rota. Although they might not. They might not. They might decide to, like, save their Balter, and then you can punish them. But I think most of the time, they'll probably just go Balter and negate your Rota. And, like, same thing if they play, like, a King Tiger Wangu. If they go, like, Wangu set a bunch of Vakros, say, go, um, then, like, obviously, Exile doesn't deal with that either. So, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't think they're, like, a ton of cards that Exile is going to be able to deal with. Um, I actually can't, I can't even name one. Like, I can't think of a single card off the top of my head that gives this deck trouble that, like, Exiled out. I mean, Exiled, if you naturally draw it, it can out Spell Canceler, but obviously if they play Spell Canceler and you have Rota, well, Rota's not gonna help there. Um, and I don't know, I think Siding Ring for Stein is too situational. Like, I feel like in this deck, like, with this deck, you want to be in the driver's seat most of the time. Like, you don't want to be, like, trying to counter your opponent's cards, because that's not what this deck is good at. Uh, so I feel like you're really, like, not playing to this deck's strengths if you're, like, trying to, like, heavily side against, like, their counters. Because, yeah, like, the nice thing about Swords of Concealing Light is the fact that, okay, it, like, out some stuff like Cyberstein... But, like, it's a continuous spell, so we can also use it as a combo piece, right? Like, if I'm siding outs, I want them to also be combo pieces. It's, like, same thing with, like, the whole, like, Nash Driver Demok Loop or whatever. Where it's, like, you can side that in and get certain things, like, Ojamatrio decks. But then, like, obviously all these cards are, are combo pieces, right? They can out our, you know, Mash Driver can out our opponent's Ojamatrio, but it's also a combo piece.
So, yeah, point is, is, like, if we're signing out, so you prefer them to also be combo pieces. And in general, like, some people have asked me about, like, my side, like, oh, why are you siding this, why are you siding that? There's not, like, a lot of playable side deck cards for this. People say, why are you siding Sagan? I don't know. Maybe I'll find a, maybe I'll find a situation where I'm going to side it in. Like, why are you siding Decree? I don't know. I probably won't ever side it in, but, like, you never know. Um, like, the only... Like, the only cards that you really need in the side are just Heavy and Three Swords of Concealing Light. Like, you could literally play, like, a four-card side deck, and and you would be fine. Okay, I guess you probably also need Mass Driver. Like, Heavy, Mass Driver, Three Swords of Concealing Light. You could basically play a five-card side deck and and win a tournament. So, so like, a lot of these cards that are here... um. Some of them I'm like, oh, maybe, like, every one in a thousand matches I'll side this in. But, like, you know, it's 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 better than, like, just playing a five-card side deck, right? So, like, same thing with, like, Messenger. Like, there are not a lot of decks that we side in Messenger against. Um, to be honest, like, Gravekeepers is probably the main one. Because, um, like, if they just... So, yeah, I, I just said that. Mass Drivers for Ojamatrio. Um, because if your opponent activates a Geometrio, then then you can't you can't legally activate Reversal Quiz because you have to send the cards to the grave, and tokens can't go to the grave. So so yeah, that's that's why you need the the Mass Driver because like Ojamatrio is like an actual like card that people play in the meta. Um. Uh, would you cite anything for the mirror? Uh, the only thing that I think could be possibly good in the mirror is, like, Prohibition. But I'm not even sure what you would call. Because it stops your cards, too. So, yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really sure if there's anything we can side for the mirror. Because, obviously, if they're going to FTK you, there's nothing that you can do about that. And if you're going to FTK them, there's nothing that they can do about that. So you'd basically have to side something that is good when you don't FTK, but also can help you FTK. So, like, Prohibition maybe could work, where it's like, oh, I can't FTK, I guess I'll just activate Prohibition and say go. That maybe works i don't know because again if you don't need the prohibition you just call a random card like oh i'll call blue eyes white dragon and then trunate it back to your hand and put counters on your library and then yeah and then if you fizzle like yeah you just go like prohibition like call trunate and say go i guess but then it's like you can't activate your own trunate so it's it's really weird so yeah, I mean, Prohibition is like the only card that I think you could make an argument um, in siding for the mirror. But I don't think it would be that great. Like, it would basically be like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Like, it'd be like minus Cyberjar plus Prohibition, maybe. I don't know. I, I've, I haven't played any mirrors, so... <laughs> so, so... So I don't really know. I mean, this deck is like 2% of the meta at best, so like I don't think we should be worrying about mirrors. And obviously, like, you know, 98% of the time, the mirror is just going to come down to, like, who FTKs who, right? I mean, not really a lot to say there. So, yeah. Unless you guys uh have it, have anything else for me, I I think we're gonna I think we're gonna call it a night. I think we're gonna call it a night. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad some people enjoy watching this deck. I, I got some good questions. I mean, we you know we had some opponents that you know told us to like eat a bag of dicks, but most of our opponents are pretty nice actually. So so I like that. Alright guys, uh, 
take care. Gonna gonna work on the dueling sim this weekend, and I'll uh, see you guys next next Friday.